Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about China Glaze's The Prow Collection. Um, it's six polishes. It came out for their, essentially like their Halloween collection, I guess. Um, lots of these polishes are on their regular lineup, their um, permanent color line. But I have swatches of these for you guys today and then I will tell you guys my favorite when we are done. So let's get swatching. The first polish I have is China Glaze's White on White, and it just looks like a, it's just a simple cream white. Here is one coat, and it's pretty sheer and streaky on the first coat, so it's definitely going, going to need a second, possibly a third. But the formula on this is good, it's not too thick and not too thin. Here is one coat of white on white. This is the second coat. The second coat, I feel like it does cover up those patching, patchy areas and those brush strokes do seem to disappear a little bit more with them, but I'm not quite happy with the coverage, so it, it will need a third for me. So this is two coats. Here is three coats, and I do feel like we do get full coverage with our third coat. So I say three coats and you're good, but three coats for white is something that I'm not really a fan of. I already have a white that covers in one coat. Especially if you're going to be doing some nail art, you generally want a one coat white. But here's three coats of white on white. Next up from the Prow collection is called Salsa, and it is a deep red cream. Here is one coat. I like the formula on this. It's not too thick and not too thin. Maybe if you put on too thick of a coat, it would want to run down the sides of your nails. Um, and there are little to no brush strokes that are visible. So here is one coat. It will need a second coat because I can still see my nail line. So here is the second coat. It builds up really nicely on itself and the color does deepen just a little bit when you add that second coat. But it does look like this is going to be completely opaque in two coats. Here is two coats of Salsa. Next we have China Glaze's Orange Knockout, and this is just a neon orange. Here is the second coat. I forgot to film the first coat, so my apologies. Um, it is pretty sheer on the first coat, as you can tell, and so the second coat is definitely needed, but it is also turning out to be pretty sheer with a second coat as well, so it will definitely need a third. The formula on this is good though. It's not too thick and not too thin. Maybe if you got too much polish on the brush, it would want to run down the side of your nails. But here is two coats. Here is the third and final coat that I am going to do. It is still, you can still see your nail line with this third coat though. So if you feel like you would like to do a fourth, you can, but I still don't know if it would be completely opaque with four coats. But here's three coats. Then we have this deep vampy purple color and this is called Evening Seduction. And this is just a red, deep, deep red, almost black purple. So here is one coat. It is pretty sheer on the first coat, not too sheer though, but it will need a second. But just because it is such a dark vampy purple color you will probably want to layer this over white or a lighter color and just do a thin one coat over a white so you can actually see its true color. So here is one coat of Evening Seduction. Here is two coats and with this second coat the color really deepens and darkens 
and it is hard to tell that it is a deep purple color at all, but it does become completely opaque with two coats, and so you won't need a third. But, um, like I said, it is still really dark, so if I were you, I would layer it over white or a nude color, or you can use it for stamping, and it would probably show the true color of the polish perfectly. This is Concrete Catwalk, and it is just a gray cream. So here is one coat, and this covers pretty evenly on the first coat. Um, it will need a second though, because I can still see my nail line a little bit. The formula on this one is good as well. I feel like the formula on all of these are about the same. So here is one coat of Concrete Catwalk. So here is the second coat. Um, it looks opaque on the first coat on camera, but in real life it was just a little bit sheer and I could still see my nail line. And so I am giving it a second coat. It does completely become opaque on the second coat, so you won't need a third. Here is two coats of Concrete Catwalk. And last but not least, we have Liquid Leather, which is just a pure black cream. So here is one coat. The formula on this is the same as the rest. Um, it does completely become opaque in one coat, and it dries extremely shiny. And because of that, you might not need a top coat, but I would probably put one on just to make your manicure last a little bit longer. Here is one coat of liquid leather. Hey guys, so my favorite out of these, um, I'm going to be honest with you, none of them really impressed me, but um, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Evening Seduction. It's the deep, deep, deep purple and honestly what I would do with this is I would layer it over white do one coat over white because then you're gonna see the pretty purple color that it is whereas just by itself it honestly just looks black okay, so those are my thoughts on the China Blaze collection um, I would pass on it if I were you I wouldn't worry about buying it it's not it's not a wow you're never gonna find these colors again collection thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time bye